Yesterday, we reported School District 91 was giving free meals to students for the rest of the calendar year. Today, we spoke with School District 25 about a similar program. KPVI News That Works For You journalist Cesar Cornejo gives us a second helping on the free meals. It's not just the learners that are on the free and reduced program. This is for all students in our district. A waiver granted by the United States Department of Agriculture now allows School District 25 to offer free breakfast and lunch for all students. The waiver has been retroactively issued starting September 1st, lasting until the end of the calendar year or funding runs out. Courtney Fisher, Communications and Community Relations Specialist for SD25, explains that accounts will be credited back. Because this waiver came after school had already started, they're going to retroactively credit accounts uh, for those families that have been paying for meals. Which will allow families to use those funds once the waiver period is over. The school district will be serving complete meals to students throughout the school week. Parents can order meals ahead of time by calling the child nutrition staff for virtual learning days and picked up at the student's school, even if they have elected to be fully online. We usually ask that they, they choose the school of their oldest learner just to uh, streamline things. And then we just ask that people call in and let us know which location they're going to be picking up from so that we can make sure we have enough meals in advance. The waiver program from the USDA is completely voluntary and gives SD25 the ability to continue providing meals for the community. Fisher explains just how important that is for them. We thought it was a really important service to be able to offer to our learners and their families. Since April, we have been able to serve nearly 650,000 meals, breakfast and lunch meals, to the members of our community. Um, so that's really a, a really great success for us to be able to feed not just food insecure families, but just bring the community together in this really challenging time. In Pocatello, Cesar Cornejo. KPVI, news that works for you. Now for a list of meal options and more information, you can visit our website at kpvi.com.